some new fragrances have a good time smell some great fragrances it's gonna be a bang because i haven't been here in a year so we're about to have some fun so come and join your boy let's go Shana's. I looked around, smelled some great fragrances. I always love coming here. Um, we're going to check out some of these newer fragrances that I just got introduced to. Some of them have been out for maybe a year, a couple of years, but some of these fragrances are brand new. I know y'all haven't got a chance to check them out, and I want to show y'all some of the fragrances y'all can get from this boutique, one of the best boutiques, Virginia, D.C., in the DMV. So, let's get to it. All right, so... We're gonna start off with an honorable mention. And this is from Omar Jane. Now, I might be a little late to the game, but I know about Omar Jane. I've collected their fragrances for years. I smelled the original Noir Love Food uh, maybe six years ago. And I had no idea that they came out with an intense version. This is the intensive old version. So, y'all gonna get Y'all gonna get my first impression of this fragrance on skin. Cause I'm very familiar with the other one. Let's see, I've been spraying myself all day. So let's get a nice little spot. Oh wow. Yeah. 
That's definitely stronger. This has a greener vibe to it though. Wow. It's the same DNA. Ooh, it's so light, but it's good. But this green, it's a green, almost herbal like green. That is nice. Yeah, that, that in, intense evil. Yeah, they deserve that name on this one. This is, damn, this is a banger. This is good. Check this one out. Noava Oud Intensivo by Oman Jane. Definitely a good one. We got another one. I just, just smelled this fragrance maybe 20 minutes ago. This fragrance is from the house Afro. Afro. How do you say Afro. it? Afro. Afro. Afro, excuse me. And this is dark. So this is supposed to be a dark chocolate, not super gourmandish, but more on the heavy, dark, but slightly sweet side. Um, if you're looking for a nice Valentine's Day fragrance, y'all need to probably check this one out. It's really nice. I don't want to spray it on me because I sprayed it before, but trust me when I tell you, super dark, heavy, slightly with a powdery vibe, but the sweetness is just right. It's not too cloying or anything like that, but you'll definitely get that dark chocolate vibe. Almost a dry dark chocolate. Really good. Now, Katri is going to talk about two fragrances that I just got introduced to that I'm really digging, but I don't know too much about, but I'm gonna show you one, and she's gonna just kind of let you guys know what this fragrance is about. And this is Suede Pony by Boy Smell. Yes, so Boy Smell's the, the they started with candles and underwear, now they've moved into cologne slash perfume or as they call it, the Cologne de Parfum. Suede Pony, though, if you've ever smelled the Boy Smells Cashmere Kush or Cowboy Kush candle, they do that every limited edition 420. Mm -hmm. um, but they're known for those candles, and this, to me, is the adult take on a perfume version of it. It's got a very dry, arid, suede facet, obviously, with some violet. But mm -hmm. very expensive smelling, despite being only 90 days. And the bottle design, come on. That I haven't seen anything this, you know, alluring or just the presence. You're not gonna miss this on your fragrance counter. Takes up space. Yeah, <laughs> very nice design. And the smell is really good. Leans more on the masculine side to me, but still, women, if you're bold enough, check this one out. But I, I really do like this. You know I love suede. You know I love leather. Anything in that category, I'm really gonna like. All right. All right, so we're gonna let Kachi talk about this amazing spicy fragrance. It's supposed to be uh, named after a movie that came out, but I'll let you tell a little bit of what, about this fragrance. Yeah. It's called Spice Must Flow. So there's a book by Frank Herbert that's sci-fi, and it's called Dune. So they've made a movie of it, um, which came out in the 70s, I think, and now they've done a remake, so it's trending with people who like science fiction. Mm -hmm. But the main takeaway from the fragrance is he who controls the spice controls the wor world, the spice must flow. So spice is the main element in the movie, and you've got saffron, cardamom, rose, in really lush, rich, almost like a spice market beautiful, high quality stuff. I totally agree, this, yeah. is, this is amazing. What movie is it that they? Dune, D-U-N-E. Dune. So, so I, I'd say spend the night, spritz it on, and watch the original version if you don't want to immerse yourself in that. Absolutely. Yeah. The bottle design itself caught me, but the fragrance is jaw-dropping. Like she said, very spicy, it has a sweetness to it, but man, this is so unique, so different. Uh, most likely, I'm 99% sure I'm gonna add this to my collection. But guys, check this one out. Fantastic fragrance. All right. Next up, this is more of a citrus fragrance. I'm not a very big citrus lover, but something about this kind of caught me, remind me of like, like a. a, a fresh, almost lemonade slice. 
with like a boozy vodka inside of it. So it's sweet, it's citrusy, it has a slight bit of a booziness to it and very fresh, very fresh fragrance. So this is from, and I'm probably gonna jack the name up. Oops, how do you say the name? Floraiku, so flower Flor plus haiku. Floraiku. Yep. And this is I'm Coming Home. So, like I said, if you like a citrus fragrance, sweetness, not heavy sweet, but enough sweetness where it almost gives you that, 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 that mouth watering. this is, I need something sweet to drink, like a lemonade, but with a slight booziness. And it almost has like this, this cold ice feel to it also. I sprayed it on my hand, and as soon as I got this fresh, cool feeling from it, but like I said, I'm not a real citrus lover, but this is really good. Uh, and the bottle design, I mean, come on. And I, I'm pretty sure, if I can remember, you can use this as like a travel spray, right? Yeah, so the full kit comes with a little glass vial that slides into the top panel. Mm -hmm. So that way you can take it on the go and refill it. Awesome. Very much an art piece. If you're a citrus lover, you like those citrus fragrances, bright citrus and fresh, check this one out. All right, so where are we at? Okay. Oud Affair, I think. Oud Affair. Yeah. All right, so I've talked about this fragrance maybe two times on my channel. It just always sold out everywhere. This fragrance to me has a honey oud combination that if you like, um, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. If you like that fragrance, you're gonna love this because this one, it has hints of that and characteristics of that, but this one has a slight bit more peppery, oud smell, woody smell. The sweetness is much better. It's smoother in my opinion. They don't smell exactly alike, but they kind of, you'll, you'll be reminded of that one if you smell this one. I prefer this one because it lasts longer. It smells better. And that oud, I think this has to be one of those ouds that come from India. Man, this is one of the sweeter ouds, the more woodier side of the oud. And it's not a kind of barnyard B.O. It doesn't give you that, that, that smell that makes you think, oh, you smell funky. No, it's very well blended and a fantastic fragrance. Definitely adding this to my collection. If you like that honey Tom Ford vibe, the private collection, uh, Tobacco Vinny, I think it's called. Check this one out first. I guarantee you'll pick this one every time. And last but not least, this is probably my favorite one out of the entire line. And y'all know I love my coffee fragrances. This is from Acro, and this is Awake. Now, coffee, cardamom, uh, Italian lemon. This is, as simple as I can put it, this is fresh coffee with creamer and topped with like whipped cream on top. And then throw a sprinkle of like coffee grounds on top of that. This is fantastic. I'm not sure which hand I have on. No, it's this hand. Man, as soon as I smell this, I smell the sweetness. I smell that roasted coffee smell. And it just reminded me of when you're roasting coffee in the morning. Ugh, this is the best fragrance I've smelled out of all of these. Definitely get your nose on this if you're a coffee cappuccino lover, even an espresso lover, you're gonna like this fragrance. Damn, this one caught me off guard. Yeah, check this one out, guys. Okay, guys, that's pretty much all the fragrances that I recommend you guys come check out. They have dozens of fragrances, hundreds of fragrances you guys can check out, but these are the ones that caught my eye. I did have one honorable mention. I'm not sure if I mentioned it. It is in the line that I want you guys to check out, but I just didn't put it in the video, but I will put it now. Check this one out. Uh, so, how do you say the name of the brand? Or May. Or May. And then the fragrance is called Le Brun. Le Brun. Mm -hmm. So another citrus fragrance, but this leans a little bit more on the citrus spicy side. It has a ginger note that's mixed with this kind of bergamot lime vibe that's really good. 
also leans a little bit towards the greener side, but this is unique. I didn't think it was one of the best, but it's unique enough to try. It's, the bottle is sick. But yeah, this is a good honorable mention. Check this one out too, guys. I'm gonna give this a little bit where I'll probably get a sample just to kind of wear it a little bit more, see if I like it. But yeah, this is a good one, guys. So check it out. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip to Ariel Shoshana. We had a blast. I am definitely coming back in the summertime because I gotta do some, you know, my summer shopping, fragrance shopping. I know how I do. Um, and I wanna thank you again. Thank you. I appreciate your hospitality. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Until next time, like I always say, it's okay if you wanna smell like rum. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, peace. Water fragrance, and that fragrance is? The Oud Affair. Listen to me, trust me, look at me, look at my face, you can't see my own face, look at me. Y'all gotta get y'all know this. I got it, so y'all know it's the banger. All right? That's it. All right. Peace.